Happy New Year's! And to start the New Year's, I'm here on uh, the FFBE, the JP side, to pull for CG Terra and Adventure Lock. But of course, I'm more interested in CG Terra. And there's also Kimono Fina that just came out. Uh, we can get one for free. And I'm gonna buy this bundle. I think. Okay, so there's three bundles right now. These are the three bundles. And out of three bundles, I'm just gonna buy this one. It gives me three fifty percent uh Fina tickets. <laughs> so I'll have fifty percent chance to get Fina from three tickets. So I should be guaranteed at least two, hopefully. <laughs> at least that's that's well hopefully or all three are Fina's, but anyways. And you get ten super trust uh Mugo. Super trust Mugo tickets. Yes. Yeah. Was it 10? Yeah. Uh, once you get a hundred of these, then you can get a super trust Mugo. I don't know how you're gonna get more in the future. I really hope they just they'll have like you always have to buy a bundle for it. I'm hoping you could like get it from King Mog events eventually or something. Because a hundred is a lot, a lot more than the EOC tickets. Alright. But yeah, I, I I think this is the most valuable bundle out of these. Which is like, oh, four EX, the five star EX tickets. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I think I'm good. <laughs> but yes, it's the other bundle. Uh, let's see. So there's one EX ticket and three 10% uh, Kimono uh, Fina tickets. And six normal tickets, and then some uh, EXP materia and attack 30% materia. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, alright, let's do it. But I'm going to buy this first. And as you can see, this is my lapis. So, I can't get into it right now. So, the the CG Terra banner is a 10 step summon. Best step summon banner. So, and they all cost 5k, of course. Ah, boy. So it's 5, it's 50k total. But I'm only planning to go to step 8. So this is gonna be 25. That's gonna be 30. 35. And yeah, okay. So I'm gonna need a little more la lapis to get to step 8. Because I'm gonna do pretty much one and. A half banner. Well, normally it'd be one and a half banners. But I guess this is just I don't know. Three four <laughs> something like that. Anyways. Alright, let's go do So how did I use these tickets exactly? Is it here? Yes. Alright, let's go poll. Do my first New Year's poll. Alright, and it is CG. Not CG, I mean Kimono Ayaka. Alright, well that's two already, because again, one is free. Hey, it's Lid. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, we get one for free in one of the battles. I'll do it right after. Okay, so that's my third one. So if the last one is uh, Kimono Ayaka, then I can get a Super TMR, which is not that bad, really. I believe it's her Kimono. I can't look at the Super TMR right now. There it is. 70% Ice Resistance, 70% Light. Defense is 45, Spirit is 45. 64 magic. Huh. I thought I'd be high on spirits, actually. Actually, I'm not sure what kind of unit she is. I don't know, I was thinking she might be... Oh man, well this one failed. I thought she might be another, like, their base attack user, like... Oh. Oh, maybe, maybe not! It's gonna turn rainbow? Ah, oh, they trolled me so bad! Sheesh, that was some troll. 
I thought I failed. Yeah, I got all four. Yep, that's definitely the best bundle. Alright, so this is the uh, free uh, kimono Ayaka uh, Fina. <laughs> I keep saying Ayaka for some reason. Because there is a kimono Ayaka. There she is. Not a 7 star, but hey, I don't mind just having one of her. But yeah, she, uh, her attacks are fair based. Like, what was her name? Keep forgetting. I have no idea what to say. Maybe just saying thank you, Happy, happy New Year. And I guess she's stumbling on her words. <laughs> I don't know. Just gotta read the expression. <gasps> and the music, I guess. Read the mood and the atmosphere. Yes, I'm sure it's the same. Thank you. We're spending another year with FFB. Hope you stick around next year. Well, that was the easiest battle of my life. Woohoo! I won't deny it. I don't really need Kimono Vina. Just have, again, just like uh, Ayaka there. Just having one, which is free. Well, it's just been nice. Nice. Alright, alright, let's go do... Let's go for, pull for CG Terror now, the main thing. Although, I do kind of want to just... Okay. I mean, I know I want to just step up better, but... But if I can just get tickets, I can save my lap. Alright, let's do some tickets. Let's do some tickets. This is going to be a long... A long video. We have 72 tickets. You know, we're never gonna get some new, like, TMR, like, armor TMR. Because right now, like, what? Lunas? Super TMR is still the best chest armor. Really. With that 45 attack power on it. And you don't want to use Super TMR, it really heals clothes. Heals clothes is just so good. So we're never gonna get a new one though. Like something in between, like something with attack of 30 and higher. Because Luna Super Timor, like this, 45 attack. And he also is 28. And like I said, it's pretty much the best right now. I mean, it's the best I have for just a TMR for a uh, chest part. And that's close. Does it matter that it's close? Uh, depends. But so far, I do think close is the best equipment. For sure, yes. And yeah, the best close equipment is Lunas. I, I know Fallen is pretty good too. I believe it's just 40. It's light armor with 40 attack, I believe. Sorry for the uh, minor lag, you see it? <laughs> it's uh, it's because I have a uh, blue stack. Because I am using the, uh, I am playing this on the PC. Did I ever mention that? Whatever. Anyways, I used to play 
uh, FFE JP on blue stacks. But then the game kept lagging. I don't know why. So, uh, I downloaded Anamp. Like, this is the official PC version. But I don't know, you ever seen me do some battle before? But I guess you could tell because they have hockey. But yeah, you know, I'm glad. As I, I will do not, I was surprised that was CG Terra. I admit, I was wrong. I was thinking they wouldn't do ooh, a CG Terra just yet. Not until like a few more months. Oh, <gasps> it's Aerith! It's finally Aerith! You, right. you have no idea how hard I've been trying to get Aerith. <laughs> and not getting a single one on the banner. Freaking Red 13. And the healer banner that I've pulled on recently. Where they give you two rainbows and. I pulled it two times, or three times. I pulled all three times, and no Aerith. Well, oh, I got one Aerith now. I need another one. You know, I almost have the whole uh, Final Fantasy 7 lineup. They look amazing. Like when you make a whole team of 7 star at the 7 units. I should do it after. Like, I'll show you. It's awesome. The only thing I'm missing is definitely a healer, though. There's no tank, though. Maybe they should have made Cloud and Tank. Okay. Cabin likes kind of limited burst thing. Maybe they should do that. Like, he just tanks up, build up his limited burst, and spams down, you know, every other turn. That would have been pretty good. Or at least it's had me Kate Sith. I don't know. I don't know how to say his name. Like, there's a lot of pronunciation for Kate Sith, apparently. But I forgot where the origin of his name is. I remember hearing about it, but I totally forgot. Information like these come and go. Like, out of my mind. Alright. But yeah, K Sith, I think he would have been he's only at three star units. But he wants to get a five star unit. Like ever. Maybe you should have made him a two. I mean there's still Sid. I forgot that Sid exists. <laughs> you know, everyone forgot him. But you know I, like I played Final Fantasy 7 and I I'll deny, I felt like Sid wasn't really necessary. Like he's just the guy who flew like flew the airship, that's it. But like he felt more of a support character than like an actual main character in my party. I mean, I I didn't care to bring him along or use him ever. But maybe I should have. Maybe I should have just to see what skills he had, and maybe maybe then he'll convince me. Because really, that's all that matters. It's not their looks. Because yeah, all right, yeah, he kind of just looked at it felt like a side character, like this sort of support character. Kinda like hate Sid. I mean, he really doesn't do much. All, I, all he was was a spy. And then he sticks around. And then he died at one time. But then it turns out he's a robot, so who cares? Eh. Again, my favorite Final Fantasy is Final Fantasy VIII. Just in case you didn't know. I grew up on it. And I would play like 7 like 2 years ago and I still haven't defeated Sephiroth. I, I was trying to defeat Emerald Weapon and I don't know how to do it. It's so freaking difficult. Like I thought I did. And then I get to this point, to this turn where he just one shots all my guys. And I'm like, what the hell? 
Like, I think it was gimmick or something. I forgot. I forgot how you fight Emerald. Was it Emerald? I don't know. It was the boss under the ocean or whatever. Like, I thought I was doing it. Like, I was dishing out damage, staying alive, surviving like a pretty good amount of turns. Like, I like survived like 30 turns and then. And I was like, is he very close to death yet? And then he killed me. He wiped my whole party. God, that was a good moment. Many bosses like that in this game. <laughs> oh, okay. I would just say there's already bosses like that. Tactic. But I will deny it. It doesn't really feel the same when you have 30 party members. And yeah, this game plays a lot differently than 7 -day. But yeah, right now, like, I still have 20 UOC tickets. I don't care to use it for Terra. I'm still gonna save them up for Squall. I still have a Super Trust Mugo. And I won't deny, Light CG Lightning, Super TMR. It's definitely a really good investment. Like, if you have to get Lightning Super Timar, you definitely won't regret it. Since I have Arts and SGT Lightning, and there's definitely gonna be more uh, true dual wielding in the future. Yeah. And they're definitely gonna be able to use swords because all Final Fantasy characters can use sword. I mean, look at Terra. Look at that new Terra. That's a sword. <laughs> I don't know. Does she also have a sword? And not only that, her hair is not green. It's really weird, actually. I don't know why they did that in this city, yeah, but whatever. Yeah, let like, me call it Sichi Terra, but it's more like this city of Terra. And this city of Arts. Yeah, I just said this city of Lightning, but okay, Lightning's a bit different. Because she has her Odin. Like she's on a horse, so I guess it's not exactly the city. Is that what they're saying? Like they're based off of the city, but not exactly. I don't know. This kind of felt like it might as well be the city. But yeah, so far one rainbow. I'm not disappointed in it. But hey, I mean, if I kind of got to Terra now, I guess whenever. I could save up all this lapis. And well it'll be so sad because I won't be able to, I won't be doing a step up banner for the start of me. Which I kinda want to, I really want to do a step up <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I can't wait till next month then. I wonder what's gonna come out. I still think it might be fair on or like Diesel or Warrior Light. Again, I don't think they're gonna just throw Cloud out next month. Unless uh, so they're like really desperate for money. Right? I guess, I, I'm pretty sure they're still sick. They're gonna save Seven and all the more like fan favorite FF characters for when they really need it. Now I was thinking, if there is a Kingdom Hearts Part 2, which I really hope there is, again it's most likely going to be Riku. Riku 5 stars. And instead of Sephiroth, which would make sense that Sephiroth is, is Cloud, what if it was Leon or Squall instead? That would be the third Squall in the game. Because the freaking world of Final Fantasy happened. So there's Chibi Squall and I didn't... Ah, GB Squall. They had the same as that kit as regular Squall, but they never tried to change him. It's like GB Yuna. <laughs> so that's the only reason why I don't think it could be Leon, really is because they had GB Squall. Which I really wish they didn't. I will deny, I kind of want. I'd rather have 
the Kingdom Hearts squad and Kingdom Hearts 7. Or maybe both, that there's, there's ever a Kingdom Hearts Part 3 event for Kyrie. But then they did Kyrie. A Part 3 with Kyrie on the banner. As we saw in the Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer, she's like partner with Axel right now. So it'd probably be Axel really. Or whoever his real name is. Apparently he has my brother knows the lore and said his real name is something else. Ah, whatever. I don't keep up with Kingdom Hearts too much, but I I will deny I'm able to follow along with the lore and all that. It might seem a bit confusing, but it's not really, really isn't that too much. I mean, I know Xehanort does some crazy ass stuff with his like existence. But he keeps dividing himself up. And I guess maybe there's clones of him. <laughs> Something like that. They're ever gonna be a Zeon or at least. But I was gonna say, what if they like came out with a, with him as the uh, a boss in the game, kind of like they are right now with all the uh, they go come out the final boss of all Final Fantasy. Which is weird. Wait, wait, wait. I, I just realized TG Terra's out. Where's her final boss? It's Kefka, right? Where is Kefka? I guess that'll be next week, I guess. Kinda like X Death. But yeah, I mean, what if they added Xehanort? Does that mean CG Sora would come out? They could do a CG Sora. It's not too late, really, because there's still Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora and Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora. So they got the CG. Sora, I'm hoping it'd be like Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora. I won't deny it too. I hope they don't do Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora though. Like I have a feeling they would. But I don't really know if I ever want to pull for Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora. Like, what would be different between between him and Kingdom Hearts 1 Sora? You know? Like, what would they do with his kit to make him th different than regular Sora? And it's like, I guess they can just have him, like, chain with someone else's family. Maybe there'll be a new, like, see, new chaining family by the time he comes out. Alright. You know, I think I might cut this part of the video out, and maybe put it at the end. Because like I said, I always hated tickets. But I want to start with tickets first, because, well, you, ne you never know what you you'll get. Like that, uh, set that 5-star error. Oh, and again, Super Tamar is like, I don't want to go to ten, uh, step 10 because I do not care about the Super Tamar. Well, actually, if I put this at the end of the video, all I'm saying here will be really... <laughs> you know. Because this is gonna be like... Before I pull on the step up. So like, these are gonna change, right? Like, I might be repeating myself here and there. Especially about that super tier one. Like if I mention it now, I might just mention it again later anyway. So I guess I'll save that to later. Ooh, finally! It's Adventure Lock! Again, I know he's uh a breaker and all, which is good! But I still love my uh, CG Lid Athena. I 
I mean CG Summer Lude. Yeah, I have to say that one. Don't worry, next area will be CG Rain and last one. <laughs> CG Summer uh, Rain and last. I really doubt it. It seems like JP doesn't want to do that at all. Compared to GL, where they actually did come out with Aloha, Laswell, and Seaside Nicole. Which is nice, but I really wish they were better units. Like their kit was better. Oh, than not, I don't ever regret using my tickets. Like, you think I would regret using my tickets and just keep forwarding them for the next banner, the next banner, the next banner? But, as you can see, every time I use my tickets, it always finds a way to build up again. Very nice. I think 72 tickets, normal tickets, and 17. 17 four star tickets, not that bad. Although, some of these, are, okay, are from the uh, Trials of Arm. Chamber of Arm. I think that's what it's called. The 10 Men Trials, anyways. Because I went back, I started to do them again. And I went back to finish some of them to uh, get all the achievements. Because I have much stronger units now. Stronger tanks. Ooh! I got like CG. I got CG Seacard. Uh, CG Charlotte. Oh, come on. Ah, man, Foka. That's my fifth one. <laughs> Cause he, yeah, I'd have our super ten heart. No. But yeah. Why did it have to be Foka? What can happen here? I don't know what's with Foka of all sudden. You know, I was like wanted Foka, but not this man. Anyways, yeah, I have like stronger units now and BTSers. And a lot more equipment to go around, even though, like, I can still use more equipment. I still find myself pretty limited. I can use a couple more material. Well, at least good materials. 40% attack materials are not that bad. But I definitely want 50% higher attack materials. Ah, it's Barrett. I don't mind Bear just be a 4 star, really. <laughs> Is that definitely gonna be Cloud and Tifa, right? I don't know. Another Tifa. Which would make sense. Again, I think it would be like Avent Children. I still believe uh, CG uh, Cloud is gonna be Avent Children. Oh, Gravy. Okay, we're almost done. Oh, it's a rainbow! Alright, uh, at least the four star tickets are giving me gear rainbows. <gasps> there we go! See, Chi, Terra. I should have, uh, you know, I almost like clicked too fast. I should have basked in the light a little bit. You no? Know? Anyways, wow, one C Chi, Terra, so, and one lock. Don't really care about locks. So I just need one more, so if I pull one CG Terra, I'm done. I'm done with the banner. This has been a really good start to the new year. You know, I totally forgot his name, but I won't deny. I, they should just name him Five Star, you know? Like, all Final Fantasy 15 characters might as well just be all five. Alright. 
Now let's start this. Alright, so I've gotten one CG Terra from Ticket Poles. I don't know if I'm gonna move that to the back of the video or not. Because I hate Ticket Poles and they take a long time to do. And there's already 30 minutes into this video. Wow. Uh, Alright, so if I get one CG Terra, I am done with this. So let's hope I do. Let's hope I get the first try. No! <laughs> alright, alright. Step two for sure. Ooh, let's try that 10% rainbow. Maybe that'll give me a rainbow. Maybe it'll troll me, just like that 50% I, uh, feed be, peanut. That was a terrible step too. Alright, my guaranteed Rainbow. I wonder what it'll be. Def it's definitely not going to be on Banner. Hopefully it's uh, Aerith. <gasps> uh, you be a troll? Please troll me! Transform into a 5 star. Not troll. <laughs> oh great, this is more of him. How good his TMR is. Uh, Spirit 30. I think it had a lot more than that. Not a fact, but maybe not. I go back and look. Uh oh, equip uh light shield. That's actually pretty nice. Gilgamesh! Wait, you know, I don't have a Super Tim Mario. I, just, I wonder, was that my fourth one? I could get a Super Tim. This cool, badass samurai. But yeah, I feel like I, they went with CG Terra. Because, well, they had like, there's already too many physical BBSers and dual, dual will that they've been pushing recently. That, yeah, finally, we've gone back to magic. But then she uses a sword. But I mean, uh, she dual willed, so she can wield a sword and a rod. But there's no true dual willed magic. Equipment yet. No, it's lock! Alright. Well, I got 7 star adventure lock. I guess we keep going. Hopefully, we get my CG Terra. What? I forgot those guys exist. <laughs> what was he? Oh uh, man. Dark Knight Luna Threat. One of FFB's finest creations. I will deny, it wasn't a bad idea, but... It really is his filler now. Alright, I need a little more lapis. Just a little more! Uh, I'll be right back. I don't know when I'm gonna get that final lapis though, to be honest. God, I just need to do one more step. And I will deny, I don't really want to buy it. Just 2k more. Uh, Alright, we, we'll see then. I guess I might have to put off this video until I gather enough lapis. Why does this upload this make it like mini part 2 in the future? But yes. God. Better not be locked! I say that now, but I can already see it. Alright. Alright, I'm back. I'm here to continue off where I left off. Alright, so I bought the tickets from the uh, event. For the uh, Maw King event. So let's do that first. 
If I could get Terra here, I do not need to do the next step. And hopefully you get Terra in the next step. Then another lock. Like, what? I really don't want three. Who the hell wants three? Don't say it. Don't jinx it. The game's gonna give it to me. But yeah, we're totally gonna guess each other. That one. I really want to see Chitara. Really bad. Mainly because I was doing the King Log event. And well, you know, if I had CG Terra, I could just spam Limber Burst. Over and over again. And it'll be easy peasy. I just leave out all of them. Lock is uh doing alright. I mean, I guess he could solo it too. But you know, Terra does it so much better. And I work at more mocking. I'll deny. I'm not expecting anything with these tickets. <laughs> but I might as well, right? You never know. I care surprises. Okay, now down to the four stars. Alright, last one. It's a rainbow! Wow, that's... now that's surprising. Come on! Ah, not disappointing. Thanks, Nolly. Well, then I'm gonna do my daily. Will this surprise me? I'll surprise you. That's why I don't do daily sets. I hate those. Right, just give me Seashu Terra. Just give it to me. At least I know who it's gonna be. And it's not gonna be a troll. It's not gonna be Nolly. Ah. Oh. And this is the only rainbow. Yeah! CG Terra, I told you I didn't do it. Alright, so I could pull one more time. Because I want to get 25% Moogle. Him, uh, trust Moogles. For Locke and Terra? I mean, do I really want to? I kind of do though, because I already have 20%. The weird thing is that it said 25%, and I thought it would be only five Moogles and be random like five percent for Terra and Locke. Well you get five random Moogles and <laughs> But turns out you get 25% Moogle Moogles for Terra and Locke. So right now I have 25% for on their TMR so I could get enough 25 and get 50. Now I just need 50% to get the TMR. 
Which I don't think is that bad because I do want Terra's uh, TMR first, so. I don't care about Locke, but. Well, I mean, I'm gonna get in. No, this is like included. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I'm doing it. I really didn't think I'd go to step 9. It's almost like, might as well do step 10 now, but I really don't wanna. Wow, this is such a bad step. <laughs> so many blue. God, oh, that was disappointing. I won't deny it. Now I kinda, I'm tempted to do the last step, though. Fine, I decided I'm going to pull the last step after all. Because... Alright, fine. This is the first 10 step... Step of banner. So, might as well go for it, even though I... You know, like, the risks are there. Which is get locked Super TMR, which I really don't want, but fortunately I have both characters. <sighs> and yeah, this is one more step. Fine. Oh my... Oh my... What's that? With all these blues. Anyways, I can't read any of this, so I don't know who that's for. Please be Terra. Very Terra. Terra. It is. Oh, praise me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the green. Now this would not have happened if I just got a second Terra on like SF5 and the other stuff before it. None of this would be happening. He just gave me Terra's very start. Let me max her out. Hopefully one of these doubles. This is a little exit. Uh, not much, but fine. Boost? Yeah, 1.5. Yeah. Of course it's like way over, but it's fine. Not too bad. Let me go look for a super TMR, I guess. What was it again? Is it 80%? Man, mm, eh, let me see. Banner? Let's check the red of Alright, 80% matching with a sword! I won't deny, I mean, I already capped out in a way, but I guess I can get rid of, rid of two of these. Ah, alright, what do they look like again? <laughs> I can't read any of these. It almost sucks having all these materials and I have no, like, yeah, like 50% of them, I have no idea what they do. Like this one. All I know is it gives HP 20% and something something attack. I think it says when your HP reaches this low, you get something. Maybe. You, you think I would just learn Japanese, but uh, I I procrastinate much. Maybe that should be one, one of my New Year's resolutions. I should learn Japanese. Nah, too much time and <laughs> Oh boy. Hmm, do Super T TMRs just go straight into your. I believe this goes straight in here, right? I feel like I've asked seen it by now. Alright. But yeah, before, okay, before I end the video, by now you can just stop watching it too. I will, I just suggest it. Alright, let me go look for it. It's in there. It's in there somewhere. I'll find it. Okay, so this is the icon. Oh, the characters. <laughs> icon, symbols, whatever uh, that I'm looking for for magic. Well, really, I was just looking for 80%. It's the only 80% in here. And I know the 
the game uh, I, yeah, icon is, is this, right? The materia. And we saw it earlier. Oh, no, it's not. It's one of these. <laughs> no wonder why I can't find it. These are all down here. God, I'm so terrible. All right. There it is. It's that simple right here. It's right here this whole time. God. Anyway, so I can remove that. I guess I could give her a killer or something. Now, the only problem is... I have no idea what any of these killers are. Ah, isn't that fantastic? Alright. So, I need to make sure they're... They work for physical and magical. Uh, this one. Yeah, that one. You're, you're, you're fine, Tara. Take, take that one. Hopefully that does something for you. Ah. Anyways, let's go look at her pulses. Attack ready. Attack! Uh, casting. Cast it. Liver burst. And yeah, she does turn into Trans Terra when she uses her limit break. Yeah. So she is both Seichi Terra and Trans Terra. I mean, it's just Terra, really. But it's too bad she can't stay her in, uh, in her uh, transform. When are they gonna do that? You know, transformation. Ah, I feel like that's the uh, next step. Alright, well that's it for this uh, video. So have a happy new year. So before I end it now, I'm gonna go on a rant for a bit. Because well, it's the new year's and generally you talk about your new year's resolution and all that. But you know what? I don't have any. <laughs> like there are definitely things I want to do. But uh, knowing me, I'll never get around to it. And well I really don't care. To me this is just another year, another day. Yeah, like any other day, really. I just... Really, I just want winter to get be over with because it's freaking cold right now. And yeah, I just want to get through the cold and get to spring and get to spring where all the good things are uh, coming out. So first things first. Um, yeah, so right now I'm just going to go on a rant about things I've been doing and want and looking forward to. So just the other day or yesterday, well, it's definitely the other day now. Uh, I just saw Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. And that was freaking amazing. It was a great movie. And now I'm into Spider-Man. This... Because I was never really into Spider-Man. Even though I grew up with him in the Spider-Man anime series. Which I just felt was really weird. Because watching the episodes, they always felt really rushed. Like... You watch it and it was over the, like, the next moment. It had this really weird pacing. I, ha I had no idea how anyone, anyone watched it. <laughs> anyone could watch that. Anyways, like, I was just a kid back then too. I was only like 8 or something years old and yet it felt really weird and awkward. But I mean I still, I guess I enjoyed it. Even though, yeah I mean I enjoyed it but it felt like you didn't really know what was going on. Even though it was really simple. It just happened so fast. Alright. Anyways. Yeah, now, after watching that, I just want more Spider-Man. Which I am. I'm gonna go play it on the PS4. Because my brother bought it a long time ago. <laughs> the game a long time ago. And I've been wanting to play it. But I never got around to it. And now is the perfect time because I totally love the Spider-Man. Although the thing is that, yeah, I mean, it might not feel the same because I really just want more that Spider-Man and, well, as we've seen in the past, Spider-Man has always been kind of just, you know, like, different. 
Right, I wasn't really into the previous Spider-Mans. I, I mean, the current one, Spider-Man Homecoming, Tom Holland, is uh, not too bad. Like, I, I like his a lot more than Amazing Spider-Man. <laughs> and Toby uh, McQuire, eh, it was, it was all right. I know Spider-Man Three, <laughs> yeah, like went downhill from there, but yeah. I mean, it, it was fun while it lasted. Alright. Uh, so yeah. So I'm looking forward to spring. Uh, there's Sekiro coming out in March. And, oh yeah, what's coming out this month is Kingdom Hearts 3. Gotta look forward to that. Although, again, my brother's gonna be playing it first. Cause he's the one buying the game, so he's gonna be playing first. And he's a much bigger fan than I am. Cause he bought Kingdom Hearts 2.5 and all of them other uh, two point freaking uh, games that came out. I don't know why you buy all of them. Because they're pretty much the same games. Just, yeah, pretty much the same games over and over. But whatever. Hey, what did I know? I'm not that big of a King of Hearts fan. Maybe there was a difference. But yes. I'm looking forward to Sekiro in March. Uh, I thought Godzilla King of Monsters was coming out in March. But this stuff's coming out in May. Darn it! I wanted to see it in March, but it's fine, I guess. Alright. But yeah, I'm looking forward to spring. Games are coming out. Just like last year, how Monster Hunter World came out uh, in March. Was it March? I forgot when it came out. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, just like Monster Hunter World when it came out around this time. Year. Anyways, that was fun. While well, it lasted. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to spring. Hopefully more games is just Sekiro and more movies other than uh, just Godzilla comes out. I mean, there is Adventures Endgame. Which, I don't know, it's really weird. I'm not too hype about, but I know I'm like gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch it, but I don't really have any hype for it. I just I just know it's gonna be good, I guess. I don't know, it's like expectations, you already, you already have them. You know, you already have them set. You already know what you're going for. So, yeah. Well, just about. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen in Endgame, but I don't really care. I'm just going to watch it, really, and whatever happens, happens. That's pretty much me right now. So, yeah. So, yeah. Spring, it's going to be a good time. So, I'm just waiting for the winter to be over. God. Wait till the ice freezes. Anyways. And then summer, Emily is just kind of mad. <laughs> Usually, just like last year, or yeah, 2018 summer, nothing really went on in summer. So I expect that to be like this year too. Uh, especially like summer movies, they're never really good. Yeah, uh, you know what I mean? Ah, whatever. Because I, I forgot what movies came out last summer. But I know they were just like, mainly for entertainment. But they weren't really anything like spectacular. I don't know. I don't know what the word for it is. I, I don't know why it's in my mind. But there is a word for it. <sighs> but anyways. Today I'm moving on to fall because freaking Okay, so... I don't know if you know this, but I'm a big fan of Monster Hunter. I'm still playing Monster Hunter right now with my friend. I've been playing with him all my days off. All my days off, I'll play Monster Hunter for you with him on the 3DS. We used to play World, but then World got boring because, you know, the end game, well... There wasn't much to do afterwards, and there was no Chi rank yet. You know, anything about Monster Hunter, yeah, there's... Ah, whatever. But anyways, yeah, you know, anything about Monster Hunter, you know what I'm talking about already. But yeah, there's no Chi rank, and now we're playing for you because apparently he just decided to buy it. So, well... I've been playing that game by myself for a very long time, and yeah, he finally joins me after all these years. Uh, let's see, I, when it, I, I forgot when 4U came out, I think it was like 3 years ago or something. And I've been playing it like here and there, like solo. And I made it all the way to Chi Rank, solo, and got the final boss. Oh, well I call the final boss. Gog, Gog's Magios, and god I can't beat him alone. <laughs> yeah, I got to him, but... I'm pretty sure there's no way I can beat him by myself. He just has too much HP. Oh, man. Like the time would run out every time. And I was sure I like did all I could to dish out maximum DPS. So, 
Yeah, I'm or maybe I'm just really really bad. Maybe I need a better build. I mean, I'm going to. I love great swords. I'm going to crit draw. Uh, yeah. I'm just wearing Diablos and I'm going crit draw. Uh, great sword build. I have sheathing, crit draw. And yeah, I mean, pretty much all I need. And focus. I have all I need. And handicraft, of course. And the Diablos great sword. So yeah, like I said, I have all I need. Still not enough. Uh. But anyways, like I said, maybe I will try again by myself. May I look online? I think there's a way to do all do it by myself. I mean, I was sure I already did, did. But anyways, point is, Monster Hunter World, Iceborne the expansion, is it coming out till fall? God damn! Like that's such a long way. Like, do you understand? Like what fall was like for me this year? It was doing this. <laughs> like it was, like you know, wait for FFB news. Uh, like looking forward to the news, and. You know, wait for the events, and then the polling for the events, and you know the anniversaries and all that happening in the fall. Ah oh, man, and then you know the winter comes around, and then it's Christmas. But pretty much, the, by the time Monster to World Iceborne the expansion comes out, I will be here again. I will be here again making these videos. God, man, time flies by so fast. <sighs> but yeah. <laughs> Anyways. So, I'm not gonna think about Monster Hunter World Iceborne ever. I'm just gonna look forward to what's coming up, which is, you know, this month, Kingdom Hearts, and I don't think there's anything next month really. But hey, there might be something next month, and I might just be like, hey, maybe I'll get, get into that. <laughs> but yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I did watch anime. Anime last year was good, it was a lot better than 2017. Yeah, I guess that's all I really have to say because, well, whatever. I, I don't really care right now. Anyways, this has, video has gone long enough. They got into there. Uh, yeah, we'll just talk about anime. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, like 2019 for anime. Who knows what it's going to be like, to be honest. It, like, so far, it doesn't look like you start. <laughs> it's next season anime. God damn. Well. Yeah, I don't think I like any of the shows really. I think there might be like just two, one or two shows that I, I'm looking forward to, but yeah, I mean, it just does this seem that interesting. All right, well, yeah, that's all I have to say. So you stuck around for that? I, I don't know why, really, but thank you for hearing me talk about my hobbies. Yeah, I just like all sorts of things, really. So yeah. Well, so that be it, and I hope you have a happy new year, and I hope you just enjoy uh, what you have. <laughs> I hope you have things to look forward to this year, pretty much. Because I know I do. So yeah, I think this year is going to be a great year. To me. For me, anyways. I don't know about you, so like I said, I hope you have something to look forward to throughout the year to make this year great. So yeah, and hopefully you stick around. Hopefully I won those. Nah, not really. I don't think I'm important. All right, uh, goodbye.